The question of how far east you can travel before you start traveling west sounds like a riddle, but it reveals something fascinating about how our planet works. On a flat map, east and west appear to be clear, opposite directions. On a spherical Earth, however, direction is relative and depends on where you are and how you move. If you start traveling east in a straight line around the Earth, such as following a line of latitude, you will eventually circle the globe and return to your starting point. At no point do you suddenly turn around, yet at some moment, continuing east brings you closer to where you came from, which feels like traveling west. This happens because the Earth has no true edge where east suddenly flips into west. Instead, eastward travel is continuous. The most interesting case occurs at the poles. At the north or south pole, every direction away from the pole is south or north, respectively. East and west lose their usual meaning because all lines of longitude meet at a single point. If you take even one small step around the pole, you could argue you are moving both east and west at the same time, depending on your reference point. Another perspective comes from crossing the international date line. When you travel east across it, the calendar jumps back a day, creating the illusion of moving backward in time. While this doesn't change your physical direction, it adds to the confusion of how we define east and west. Ultimately, there is no specific distance where east suddenly becomes west. Direction on Earth is defined by continuous movement around a sphere. The moment east turns into west is not a physical location, but a matter of perspective. This question reminds us that many everyday concepts only make sense because of how we choose to define them.